Hi everybody, it's Kara and I have some haul goodies to share with you guys. I'm actually going to break everything up into probably three videos just to keep them a little shorter. I'm going to do this first one that is kind of a hodgepodge of things. And then I have a small jet pens order to share with you guys and a small order from Studio Calico, which is the first time I've actually ordered directly from them. I thought I would share all those goodies with you too, but I'm going to do a separate video for the jet pens and a separate video for the Studio Calico. So this one is the hodgepodge of stuff, and as you can see, I have more Project Life cards. I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with these. This is the Favorite Things edition. I believe I got this one at Michael's using a coupon, if I remember correctly. And I just couldn't resist the colors and the patterns. I mean, all that pink, you know, I had to get it. So I'm not going to go through all of them because I'm sure you guys have seen them. If somebody happens to be interested in seeing kind of the variety of cards, let me know and I'll do a separate video. Uh, yesterday I made the mistake of going to Joann's and I actually got another one, which is the Kiwi edition. Again, I looked at it and saw all of the cuteness and it was on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed that. So I have two more for my collection and I, I'm sure I've said this before, but just so you guys are aware, I actually don't do Project Life, but I love to use these cards when I'm journaling and I'm using them right now in the Lister's Got a List Challenge. So they're coming in pretty handy and I'm also sharing some with friends. So that's the Project Life cards that I have to share with you guys. I have a few goodies from Joann's. This is two separate um, stops. I picked up some of these Studio Calico stars just because they're one of my favorites and they were on sale. So I grabbed an extra set of those. I found this absolutely adorable uh, Heidi Swap stamp set. Absolutely, completely unforgettable. And it says you are. It's got a couple stars and an arrow. And I just thought that was way too cute to pass up. I also, because it was on clearance, got this Martha Stewart um, craft squeegee which gives you different little options of as you can hopefully see um, using it to smooth various things mediums and stuff over stencils and that kind of thing so I grabbed that I also picked up a couple of cute uh, sticker sets I thought these would be really cute to use in a planner and let's see I also picked up this little 6x6 acetate pad from We Are Memory Keepers. And I am not 100% sure yet what I'm going to use it for, but when I saw these in here, there's white uh, polka dots and stripes, a teal color, a yellow, an orange, and a pink and purple. I couldn't pass that up, so I grabbed that. Super cute. And then yesterday when I went back and got these Project Life cards, I picked up a few other things. I picked up this stamp set, which I really have no business getting, but I liked it because it had um, different sizes of numbers, different fonts of numbers, plus days of the week, things like that. And I thought it would be fun to use um, in journaling and maybe in my list uh, challenge. And then I picked up three of their dollar items. This is the Studio 112. I picked up this little set of cardstock items or die cuts. I thought they were cute. I grabbed these numbers in the craft because I thought I could stamp on them and also use them in my list uh, challenge. And then lastly, I got these gold heart stickers just because they were pretty. The whole gold thing is kind of growing on me. So I grabbed those. Uh, when I was at Michael's getting this top project life set, I also picked up this little set of tabs from Recollections just to keep on hand in case I needed them. I placed an online order to Faber-Castell directly because I wanted to try out some of their new gelatos. Um, I am planning on getting back into using my old ones as well, but I saw these brights and I thought they were too fabulous not to try. I actually haven't had them out yet. Let's see, I think, I can't remember if these came in a case or not in here. And real quick and we'll see if I can pop this out. No, they're just kind of like this in here. But look at how gorgeous those colors are. And you get a little um, paintbrush and 
that's a sponge of some kind, so super cool. So I grabbed that from them. And I also picked up their textured gems, which I thought were really cool. And that's this. If you can see it right down here in the description, you can do, you know, dots and designs and lines and all that good stuff. And it's clear and translucent, and you kind of see it on the package back, back here. I just thought that would be really fun to add to some art journaling. And then I was at Walmart and I grabbed a couple of these notepads because of the glasses and that they were pink. I also found two cool, well I bought two, there were other colors, two cool zipper bags. And here's the first one. Gorgeous bright pink color and of course pink polka dot. So here's what they say they have. Now, in my Michael, or sorry, my Walmart, I saw black, pink, green, and orange. And where I found these, in case you guys are interested, um, was near the gift bag section, like near the cards in the gift bags. They were kind of hanging on the side of one of the rows of cards. And they were $2.97, if I remember right. And they measure almost 12 inches by... slightly over seven inches so they're nice and big and I thought they'd be great for putting in you know your bags for some travel supplies or art supplies or whatever and you know me I can't pass up a bag and then lastly I picked up this little set from We Are Memory Keepers this is also from Walmart I just really liked the bloom where you're planted and if you can see these are kind of some little die cuts right here you can see on the back what's in there. I just thought that was kind of a fun set. I want to say this was like $5, 5 or $6. So I grabbed that. So that is everything from the HodgePodge haul that I'm going to share with you guys. I will be back shortly with a couple other haul videos. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you are having a great day where you're at. Bye, everybody.